Hi guys, I'm Rich. Let's go through my top five things to watch for the week ahead in markets. Number one, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is scheduled to testify on the semi-annual monetary policy report before Senate Banking Committee on Wednesday and the House Financial Services Committee on Thursday. Markets will be looking for a further clue from Jerome Powell on future monetary policy decisions expected during the remainder of 2022, as questions from senators and House members are not known ahead of time. Number two, on Monday, the People's Bank of China will announce loan prime rates. The five-year and one-year rates are currently anchored around 4.45% and 3.70% respectively. Markets will be looking for more monetary policy easing and rate cuts to boost economic growth and lower financing costs for struggling businesses that are trying to rebound within a slowing economy after Beijing lifted COVID restrictions following a two-month lockdown. Number three, on Wednesday British inflation figures will be released. This is critical, especially after the Critical Bank of England meeting last week and for setting the tone for when the next rate hike will take place. Markets will want to see inflation numbers peaking before the Bank of England runs out of space to tighten policy since further hikes will have a significant impact on UK growth and GDP. According to the most recent core inflation report, annual inflation reached 9% on a yearly basis. Number four, alongside the British inflation numbers, Canadian inflation numbers both CPI and core CPI should be announced on Wednesday as well. The pre- previous reading showed Canadian CPI around 6.8% on a yearly basis. While median forecasts for this upcoming release show inflation might ease a little bit to 6.7%. Maybe the numbers will be enough to knock the dollar loony forex pair out of its 1.25 to 1.30 trading range. Number five, lastly, expect a quieter start to the week in the United States. On Monday, June 20th, US markets will be closed to celebrate the Juneteenth holiday, which means lower liquidity on US stock features as the cash market session will be closed for the banking holiday. However, this implies that the first US cash market on Tuesday might include higher volatility than usual following the long US weekend. You can of course click on the link below to see the full economic calendar with the previous month's data and the consensus expectation for this time. But for now, thanks everybody, good luck trading this week and remember to please give a quick smash of that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss more content like this when it's released.